Hey, XH Sports Cards here, guys, and we're here for another box opening. This one's a little bit older, a little bit wiser. It is a 2005 Upper Deck NFL Players Rookie Premier. And uh, let's take a look at Becca.com to see what you can get out of here. So if we take a look, really, it's not an expensive set. So you can see it's 35.10 for a total value. I think I paid $15 on eBay, so I figured that was good since for sure there's an Aaron Rodgers in here that's worth $15. So I figured, if anything, since I'm a Packers collector, I'll get the Aaron Rodgers that's worth $15. Maybe paying retail price for what it books for, but I'll get other cards too. The good thing about this set is not necessarily the Rodgers, and it is a complete set of 30, or it's supposed to be anyways. Um, the good thing about this is these cards, while you see the highs, not a lot except for the Rodgers, until you start getting down into, they may not have it on this, we might have to go through and look at the parallels and the other uh, cards, but there are autographs and there are um, other cards available on this. Parallels, so there's gold parallels, there's platinum parallels, um, let's see if we can find that real quick. Platinum parallels, there are, uh, here we go, there are also uh, autographs. So if we look down the list here, you'll see the rookie premieres. There's Aaron Rodgers, 15, so not too bad there. You're going to have uh, Alex Smith, um, Jason Campbell's in this set, Frank Gore rookie, checklist. But here are the autographs. So you could hit, potentially hit, a pretty nice one in Alex Smith or Aaron Rodgers. It just depends on uh, what you get. But with that being said, let's go ahead and open these up. Like I said, it's a uh, older set, 12 years old now. Let's see what we get. There's the box there. You pull out the old trusty knife. Not really seen these. I haven't really looked either. But I haven't really seen these uh, opened online. I'm sure someone at some point has opened a box of these. But... Um, None that I've seen or potentially found. Um, all right, so there's the box, right like that. So let's see what we get. Pop it open. Should be fairly quick opening, really, since it's just this one box of 30 cards. So on top, I'm not sure where that came from, but we'll just go this route here. So we'll start off with Mark Bradley. Mark Bradley for the Chicago Bears, and that's just a regular version. Roddy White. Vincent Jackson, rookie. Well, I don't want to say rookie. These aren't necessarily rookie cards since they come from the set. So, um... They are what they are. Maurice Claret. Terrence Murphy. I mean, that'll go into my personal collection, but obviously Murphy hasn't played for quite some time. Ryan Motes. There's a Matt Jones, and not the Redskins Matt Jones. That is from the Jaguars. Former quarterback. Cedric Benson. It's all you Bears fans. One-time Packer. Carnell Williams, Cadillac Williams. A lot of people forgot about this guy. He was productive for, for a year or two. Reggie Brown, another guy that was productive for a little while. Jason Campbell, not that focus here. My phone's going crazy here. That's probably what you're hearing in the background. Jason Campbell, one-time bear as well. And Adam Pacman Jones for the Titans. Still uh, going strong. I believe he's on the Bengals now. I don't think we got any ink because I think the ink is on the top. So no ink. We're just hoping for uh, parallel at least to give some more value onto this. But who knows. There's Ronnie Brown. I'll try to get the glare off of that. There we go. Ronnie Brown. 
There is the Players Inc. checklist. Hard to see who's on that, but it should be all these guys. There's the AA Ron that I was talking about. I actually got the platinum version of that already. Uh, looks like we got a gold Roscoe Parish is actually the parallel we got. So, um, no auto. Okay, we got the LaFours. I don't think he played very often. There's the Roscoe Parish regular. Antrell Roll. Now we're just getting into the regular set. Alex Smith, $1.50 card there. Andrew Walter played a little bit in the NFL. Uh, Charlie Fry. There is a David Green. Troy Williamson. There's a Frank Gore. You think this would be worth more than a seventy-five cents or dollar fifty, but it is not. Mark Clayton. Braylon Edwards. Mike Williams. J.J. Arrington. It was funny with this guy. Um, he came out and a lot of people had good things to say about him, but he just, I don't think he really ever panned out or did what he was supposed to. I guess you could say about a lot of the guys in the 2005 class, especially the running backs. Kind of like Williams, Ronnie Brown, Cedric Benson, J.J. Arrington. So just one of those guys that just didn't pan out. Hey, there he is, Kyle Orton. A lot of guys forget that... Uh, he actually did fairly well for the Bears for being a uh, quote-unquote game manager. He did an all right job for him. And finally, Faison, Seatric Faison, number one in the set. So while I was hoping for, obviously, an Aaron Rodgers auto, we ended up with no auto. And it's not like the autos are impossible to get. They're one and 24 boxes um, but the main guy I was going after and got obviously because you're going to get it in this case here in this box is the Aaron Rodgers and um, we'll take it I mean $15 for this box guaranteed a on a Aaron and we're uh we're happy and I didn't necessarily overpay for it you know I don't I've always said I don't like to pay more than than half if possible, unless it's a card I really, really want. But, uh, you know, having a platinum version of this already, might as well try to get the regular and even maybe the gold. That way I had the uh, the trifecta. And, you know, maybe throwing a chance to get the auto, but no such luck. But that's all right. Um, would I recommend buying this for what sometimes you see them selling for around the $50 range? Absolutely not. This the whole set itself added up on Beckett, as we saw, was only $35. Now, for a chance at this guy, um, click on here and show you. For a chance at this, yeah, absolutely, $15 is good. $50 for a chance at that, no. I mean, the odds of getting that card are, you know, however many autographs they have, and then you got the 1 in 24 boxes, just not a good rate. Uh, of return but uh 15 we can handle it so 15 i think i paid 250 shipping on ebay on top of that so about 17 dollars um the gold roscoe parish i mean it's not gonna be worth anything really but um you know we can go back and check that price out but it's just not gonna be worth what we want it to be worth um so check out the prices one more time here. We got uh, 50 cents for the phase on Alex Smith's a dollar fifty and trial roll. And again, this whole set together, we'll go up and just to show you. It's thirty-five ten. And the way Beckett does it now is they do the total value of the set. So it's not necessarily what the set value is together. It's more of a how it used to be in the old days, you'd see a set value in Beckett. But if you added up all the cards, all the cards together would be over what the set's worth. This stat zone part in Beckett.com now is essentially all the cards added up. So 
All the cards added up at $35.10. So pay $15, you're getting double the value. That's always good. Um, so that's always, always, always a plus. But again, the highest card in this set, and we'll just scroll down, $15. Second highest is going to be clearly Alex Smith, I'm guessing, at $1.50. Frank Gore is $1.25, so I misspoke on that. Um, but, I mean, you got the checklist card at $0.75, cents, which is higher than half the cards that are in here. So, not a great set if you're looking for value. I, I was looking for one card in particular. Got it because I knew it was going to be in there, and it was just hoping for something extra. The Alex Smith, some you know, some people might take on the Vincent Jackson. Some people might take on Roddy White, even dollar twenty-five. I mean, they're not huge price cards, clearly, but but you know, for fifteen bucks, you can't complain. Can't complain at all. And there's the card that I was hoping to get, couldn't get it, but uh, that's all right. You win some, you lose some, right? So, KXH Sports Cards, that was a 2005 NFL Players Rookie Premier Break. Full box, 30 cards. We did get a gold uh, a gold version of Roscoe Parrish. Again, probably a couple bucks. Um, going after the Rodgers, and we got that, so we're happy. Um, but look at our other videos. Like, subscribe, check them out. Um, I know we just had some optic retail pull up and, and thrown on there. We had a uh, 1314 cert, totally certified NBA thrown in there. Uh, we had what some high tech a couple weeks ago thrown in there with a pretty big hit. Um, so go check all those videos out. Check out little Chris's uh, Pokemon videos. Um, his box openings of Pokemon. He's got a lot of them on there now. He reacts to certain videos. Check out our reactions. He games. He does it all. Um, check all those out. But uh, with that being said, like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter. It's KXH Sports Cards. Peace.